Hi everyone, Teacher Neil at Best My Test Learning English and a lot of you have been asking us how to learn phrasal verbs. So, we've decided to create a series of videos teaching phrasal verbs. This will be our first video and I will be showing you how I use phrasal verbs in my personal life and I'll try to act them out as much as I can and hopefully that'll help you to learn it a lot faster. So today, this will be our first video and we will be starting with phrasal verbs with look. Let's get started. When you're using the action look, we can look up or we can look down. So I can look up to see what's up there and I can look down to see what's down there. You can also look behind. If you look behind me, you can see that there is a jewelry store. Sometimes when I'm shopping, I might lose my wallet and forget where I dropped it. So, I would have to look around to see where it is. So, to look around means to try to find something that either you can't see or you don't know where it is. We can also use look around to describe exploring what's nearby. As you can see, I'm at the mall now. So, later I'm going to look around and see what I can buy. I'm looking for is a useful phrase you can use when you're shopping. So, if I were to go to the Gap, I could go to the clerk and say, Hi, I'm looking for jackets. Where can I find them? Or, if I were to go to a bookstore, I could go to the clerk and ask, I'm looking for sci-fi books. Where are they? We can also use looking for if we're looking for something specific. If I were to lose my wallet, I could go to someone and ask them, Hi, I lost my wallet and I'm looking for it. Have you seen a wallet lying around? I'm in my car now. So before I drive out, I have to look out the window and I have to look around to see if there are any other cars or pedestrians. I'll look around one more time just to be extra careful. Sometimes when you're driving, unexpected things can happen. Like last week, my wife said, Look out, there's a bird. So look out by itself refers to trying to make someone aware that there's something that they don't see that's maybe dangerous for them. Now I know a lot of you might be living in the city. If you do, you'll know how hard it is sometimes to look out for a parking space. To look out for means that you're looking for something that is difficult to find. So. Whenever I go downtown, it's really hard for me to find a parking space, so I really have to look out for one. You can also use look up and look down in a figurative way. If you admire someone, you look up to them. So I look up to my father because he sacrificed everything he had to provide for his family. If you think less of someone, you look down on them, which means that you don't respect them. When I was in school, we had many rich kids and they would all look down on the kids who didn't have any money, which is terrible. And it taught me to respect everyone, no matter who they are. Now, there is a phrase called look it up in the dictionary. So if you don't know the meaning of a word, you could look it up in the dictionary and that way you can learn many new words and also improve your vocabulary. Now I'm done filming videos outside. I'm back in my house and I'm ready to look over all of the footage that we filmed today to make sure that everything is perfect for you guys. To look over something means to review it. You can also say go over, but go over would imply that you're reviewing everything very carefully to make sure that there are no mistakes at the end. I'm looking at my phone right now because my accountant told me that he sent a very important email last week. So, I'm going to look through all of my emails to find it. To look through means to search carefully. My colleague told me to look into an issue we had at work. So, I will look into it and see how to fix the issue. To look into something means to investigate or to explore a subject. I have three beautiful cats at home, so I have to look after them meaning that every day I take care of them by feeding them or changing the sand in their litter boxes. 
It's almost nine o'clock in the evening now, and I look back on everything that I've done today. I feel a sense of accomplishment. I feel like I've done so many good things. So, look back means to remember or reflect on the past. I feel nostalgic when I look back on the time I spent in my home country. However, I look forward to my new life ahead of me. To look forward means to be excited about something that is yet to happen or something that has not happened yet. So, I look forward to my holiday and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. That's a wrap for our phrasal verbs using look. I hope my stories helped you to understand how to use them in everyday life. So remember guys, the best way to practice is to look out for opportunities to use them and to use them again and again and again so you can feel comfortable. So guys, please remember to like, subscribe and look around our channel for more videos. See you next time.